Hello and welcome to another video. Today, I'm outside. Fuck it, why not? I want to just talk about the new Youngblood song that is coming out on the 21st of June, Breakdown. I know I'm a bit late to talk about this song because it's been a few days, it might be close to a week since he put the snippet out of the poem. He's been very active on social media, liking TikToks. He did like my TikTok, so... Thank you very much for that. But this song clearly seems to mean a lot to him. It's Youngblood at his greatest. His unique style, a lot of spoken word, and extremely relatable. Some of the highlight lines for me so far are The world is pretty big man but don't feel small in it. What a fucking lyric. Another one is That's for the people with oblivious short sight. I think this song is really well written. Dom said that he wrote this at a time that his mental health really wasn't great and he didn't even want to get out, get out of bed. I can relate to that. But my expectations for it, I really, really don't know because it almost has got a bit of a vibe of like charity with the verse part of it. And also elements of it kind of remind me of almost Tim Pan Boy. It definitely sounds like it's old young blood, which... I'm happy about, I fucking loved his older stuff, don't get me wrong, I love the new stuff, I think he's come a long way, I think he's a way better songwriter than he was, and I thought he was good back then. I think the thing that I'm happy about, especially with this new era of Youngblood, is every song sounds different, every one of them's unique. You know, we've had some surprise ones come in, we've had Abyss, we've had uh, the Kiss cover, I Was Made For Loving You, which has been very fucking well received, so... Well done to Youngblood for that, because it was a fantastic cover. Breakdown, I think when it comes out, I think it'll be a massive hit with the fans, because it's very relatable. It's almost like Dom's talking to us about everyday struggles, which is why a lot of people love Youngblood, including me. But I do hope this is the last single before this mixtape that he's supposed to be dropping, because he did say that his last song is going to be a song called Zombie at Bloodfest. Now... Unless because he covered Linger by the Cranberries recently, unless he's going to be singing the Cranberries Zombie, I don't know. That'd be cool, but I would love to see a song called Zombie come out by Youngblood, just something dark and fucked up. Because Bloodfest is getting closer, I'm hoping that the mixtape is coming very soon, because we need a little bit of time to learn it. I mean, I'll learn it in a few days, but fans that have got way more of a life than I have... Uh, probably will take a bit longer to learn it so i think it needs to either come out soon or after bloodfest and we just stick to what we know but breakdown i think he's played it smart with bloodfest coming up because breakdown he's released the what i assume is going to be the hardest to learn part first and we've already got it so if breakdown's the last single before bloodfest i'm happy with that it sounds like it's going to be an absolute banger Make your TikToks because Youngblood has been extremely active with reposting them, liking them. Hopefully he reposts yours or likes yours. So those are just my brief thoughts on Breakdown and what's going to come up next for Youngblood. So don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below what you thought of the video. And I will see you very soon. See you later.